All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Undisputed Career Mode at Lightweight. Just a quick recap on the opponents for the first fight of the video. Cleven Moore, or Cleven Moore, however you say that. Let's have a look at his, uh, quick look at his stats and whatnot. Fists for fire, Cleven, or Cleven, 28 wins, 5 knockouts. To be a legend, orthodox, throw short combos in and out. Quick look at his stats. And we can actually see the AI's uh, fight history, at least up to its last five fights, but I can't seem to find anywhere whether that you can do that with the player. Maybe that'll change when the uh, the launch of the game happens, but I don't think you can see that in this build. It'd be nice to see like your history of opponents. But anyway, that's who we're fighting. I'm feeling a bit rusty already, and I've not had one fight yet. I feel a bit out of sorts today. And what's going on? Let's get into the camp. Oh, hang on, before I do that, where's me, uh, where's anime twink Aaron? There he is. How many points have I got to feed him? 100 points. Upgrade coach. I know a lot of you want me to upgrade the coach to, uh, you know, get more damage in and stuff like that, but, I mean, Aaron's already, we've we've managed to, pro to progress Aaron from a C. It's, I can't remember what his default rating was, but he's, he's sitting at C now, like, but if you see, this is the, we can't buy any more coaches up until this point. And this guy, old Grant there, sex offender Grant Smith, is looking at, well, he's a C, look at that. And so Aaron's, Aaron's shoulders are shoulder with him. So might as well stick with Aaron. I'm going to go all the way with this lad. Right, let's give him, let's feed him those 100 points. Uh, rather than, oh, I mean, look at that. That's about to crest into thingy, but let's try and, uh, Get a bit more strength. That's it. 100 points pumped into Anime Twink Aaron. Alright. I'm trying to lock some more points as we go and feed them to him. Alright. So we're actually hitting the gym now. I mean, I, I do want to jump to the Caldwell gym eventually. Uh, 180 grand sign up fee and just under three and a half grand weekly fight camp fee. Look at that, increases all stats by one point. I wouldn't mind taking advantage of that at some point, but uh, maybe that'll happen in the next video, but for now I'll just keep it a Technicolor until we get a bit more disposable income to play with. All right, let's knock this media obligation out straight away, so that's fucking done and dusted. Training, right. Go usual path. Oh, shall I might go uh, a bit more uh, power focused this first camp, maybe? Or I don't know. I always, I always have this problem of deciding what I want to do. Strength B there, speed for B. Otherwise, I'll never fucking start. I'll get decision paralysis. Bit more strength. Um, bit of speed bag. Defense could uh, do with a bit more. Bit more work. Gives me jabs and straights. And we do 55. Can I get one more in? Another speed bag session. Two more training sessions and then we should be good to go. Right hand power, left hand power, both at 78. Hooks and uppers could be going into the 80 pretty soon.
Let's recover it, I think we're all set. Yeah, not bad. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this first fight out the way. I say, I feel well out of sorts today, I don't know what it is. I'm mentally exhausted, because for the past, like, well, almost a week now, I've been, like, trying to wrap my head around this Unreal Engine, and, you know, and I'm mentally fucking exhausted, like. Just trying to understand stuff, and... I think that's the problem with a lot... I mean, I'm very grateful to the free tutorials that are online. But a lot of the people who are the Box doing Academy the tutorials, they're just telling you to do this, this, this and this, tonight, but they're not explaining why it works. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. So I, I'm following the, the mine, tutorial and I'm ending up with the same Cyborg results, which is what I want, but I don't understand like no, anything that I've just done. Do you know what I mean? Kilo. It's like if you if you were a car mechanic and you showed me how to take an engine apart and you're like, I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I do it. Yeah, I've just took an engine apart, but I don't know what I've just done. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need to be explained. Like, I need like a kid's crayon drawing of like what I've just learned. I hope you know what I'm getting at, but yeah, just start finding those tutorials. And even if you buy people's online courses. I've seen a lot of reviews where they're saying the same stuff, a lot of them, you know, so if you're a, a complete beginner, you're not going to have it explained to you, but maybe that's just how it is, sometimes you've just got to figure it out for yourself sometimes, and... United States of America. In their last fight, but yeah, they I'm fucking mentally burnt out. See if they can bounce back in this one. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the United Kingdom, wearing the black trunks trimmed with black. Hiding out of the blue corner, from the United States of America, wearing the white trunks trimmed with orange. Not too many seats to be Fucking Jimmy Lennon Jr. is fucking colorblind by the look of it. Fucking <laughs> hell. This showdown. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. No doubt about it. This was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. By a country fucking mile, son. I do like this venue. The white canvas. Here's the bell to start the round. And he wasn't ready for that counterpunch. Ooh. Good start, good combination. Locks the uppercut. Yeah, just really, feel really out of sorts today. Ooh. He's gonna go with more footwork now. What do you Ooh, think? There's of that a nice liver shot there, left up to the body. You know they have an amazing relationship with their coach. They've been working together for a while now, and it's really paying off. Wasn't ready for that counter punch. Swing and a miss with the jab. Just missed with that jab. Looks like uh, Cleveland's got that sort of Joe Frazier walk animation there, the or the Marciano one, that kind of like where you plod forward a little bit with your hands low. I do like the look of that. Just misses with that jab. Big left off over the top there for more. Oh, but he gets shot. caught with a nice uppercut. Beautiful counter shot. What heart, what desire, but at what cost? Just noticed my head health there went into the orange. Oh, win. left off right straight, rocks more early on. Looks like they've shaken Ooh. it off. Caught sleeping on the job. She missed managed me range there on those last few punches. Recompose yourself then. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are Oh, and again, more getting rocked with the left up. But the power shots very rarely just get through. Like, you know, you'd have to really just like deplete the AI's block in order to get your punches through. Like as long as they've got block meter, it's just like really difficult to land like a clean power shot 
whether you're going up or down to the body to the head they just they just track it and block it and then when your shot gets through it's it's because you've actually deleted their block meter it de deleted depleted their block meter not broken why change it an excellent last round everything works wait for the reaction until then keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down oh taking some shots got carried away there getting into a bit of a fucking slugfest here he is bouncing on his toes trying to get some energy Beautiful counter shot. There's no doubt about it. This fighter loves to throw jabs and a lot of them. Their opponent better have an answer. I really hope we see a change to the weave in the final build of this game. I really do. The, this whole click in the stick thing, and you notice that I never use it, but it just doesn't feel intuitive to use to me. Like, perfect you counter know. lands. I hate to sort of suck it's off EA, but the like, they, they had this thought. weave patented and tried and tested for five Still games on the bounce. Tap for tap. You know, match uh, made to quote heaven. fucking the great Johnny Nelson, if it's not broken, why change it? Do you know what I mean? But this click and the stick and it just doesn't feel... It should at least give us the option to, to do both, you know. Uh, all you need to do is just increase this range of mo motion a little bit. But I just don't feel like I can stand in the pocket here and, and do this and, and make people slip, you know. And, you know, this game heavily favours the outside fighter, if you'd ask me. Heavily favours it. That's another scoring shot. Oh, big right hook over the top there for more. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Couple of nice power shots to the body got in there. Oh, and a short little. Oh, I had a, barely any stamina when I threw that, but a little right straight counter as he came in. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Yeah, just, I know I always say it, but going on about this weave, like being able to punch from that is an absolute must. It, it, for the fluidity of the combat, I think it is an absolute must to have that as an eventuality in this game. Like it'd be a crying shame if that doesn't get implemented. You know, and let's not kid ourselves as well. Like, I know the game is officially released and on October the 11th, but you know how games work nowadays. They're, they're released on a certain date officially, but they're, they're constantly getting built upon with, like, roadmaps, aren't they? So they're never really funny, fully finished. Uh, they, they're only finished when the game's no longer being worked on and the fucking sequel comes out. Do you know what I mean? That, that's when the game's finished and they, they don't do any more updates, but... I don't feel like there's such here. thing as a finished what game anymore. It's, it's continuously it like, like updated and no things getting nerfed. Oh, there's a beautiful left up. Things getting nerfed. Things getting buffed. You know what I mean? We're always looking for that KO, and we could see an upset right here. It appears he's out of trouble at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean. He just got caught. He just got caught. What a shot! Now, finally, the power down. left up gets Would through. Trying to land the, the power up a cup, but be very rarely. Look at that. He just always just again, come off the glove. Took the wind out of him and the will to continue. A shot from the gods took him out. More on the canvas for the first time in the match. One, two, three, four, five. Final ten seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? 
What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with it. Just a movement there for more. Get straight to the body lands. Oh, and some more nice head movements to slip off that uppercut. And he scores with the counter. Oh, head health took a bit of a knock there. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. Gotta watch my head health. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Got him there. And again. Perfectly matched. Skill for Got skill. Caught. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that nauseous. So I've got to respect both of them. Trying to punish him that, whenever he misses. Just to take my foot off the gas a bit. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Nice punch. Fantastic punch. Struggling to recover here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That oh, nice right, straight left up counters there. The oh, and, and a finally an uppercut gets down. through. Power Will uppercut. He make it back to Puts him on the deck. Imagine Off the right straight to the body. Oh, just split the guard with that one right up the middle. Do anything about it. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Oh, with a shot right straight to the body. Bang, left uppercut. Splits the guard. Let's have one more look at that. Job from Moore getting up on the nine. Well, he's back he's still on his here, feet, though. For how long? This could go south in a hurry. Some fighters, when this happens, and he goes oh, and a power left up off the jab. He was still him. reeling there. I don't know. Off I that knockdown. Look at that. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. Can he get up again? Let's see. Just teleport Four, into the centre of the five, ring there after getting knocked down in the seven, corner. Eight, nine, ten, oh, that's it. It's over. Early KO, early bath. It happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That was her. and work our way through this top 10 now should be getting probably a, a named opponent for this next one maybe Khan or Gatti
cracking into the top 10 there on the WBO and the WBC rankings. Not bad. Anime Twin Karen. Got a jab modifier and a counter punch modifier. Alright, let's get these weeks advanced. Uh, what's the weight looking like? Not bad. So you will start on fight sharpness this time. That weight can afford to drop just a touch. Can't pro progress without staff. Did you know what? That's a fucking good point. Aaron, you're hired again, mate. Can we unlock any more? I think there was another coach there. Oh, Frank, let's have a look at the uh, the sex offenders registry. Or the sex offender database. All these mug shots. So Grant Smith was the last one, and this fella's just unlocked. Oh, Frank Greaves. We'll keep with it. I've just hired Aaron again. Anime Twin Karen's the man going all the way with him. So we knew the contracts. Just keep everything the same. When the when the next uh, sorry when the official release comes out in October. Obviously, I'll do another career mode, so I'll, I'll take a different approach then. You know, start experimenting with the uh, with these coaches. I just want to see if I can go all the way, really, with these lads. Do they get any points there for Aaron? It's not going to be enough to push him to where I don't think. Oh, look at that, close. the week I think I can stick with fight fight prep for these next couple of weeks don't have to worry about overtraining if I remember rightly this gym has that bonus on it where you don't overtrain <coughs> Plenty on weight. Right. Who are we looking at? There's Linares again, but let's see. Uh, can we get? Oh, Gatti's available. So you know that's who I'm going with. Ramon Reyes is also available, but he's outside of the top 10. We don't want to be going backwards through the top 10. We want to be working through them one by one. So let's see if we can get an Angie going with Gatti's team. Some new venues by the look of it. Falcor, Nighttime, Empire Pro. Oh, we've got the big lads arenas coming up now. You know I'm going to try and get a handshake on that. Let's get a 12-week camp on the go. Rematch clause. No fight promotion. Uh, you know me. What media activity? That's the, I'm Conor McGregor style. I'm not turning up for fucking, fucking media. Uh, can we get a handshake on that, Mr. Arturo's team? Oh, he's counted it. Home fight. Ugh, what about if it I just knock the pace down a little bit? No. <laughs> Fuck. Fine. You can have the home fight. Fuck's sake. Decline. What the fuck? Is that an auto save? Can I just fucking restart and do this again? I'm gonna fucking try that out. Bear with me. Oh, saving qu oh, what have I what have I alt F4 here? Right, I'm gonna alt F4 and see if I can get that back. Alright, just loaded back in after the uh, the old alt F4. Let's see if we can get get a get a better result this time. When it comes to Mr. Gatty and his team. Right, I think. Let's keep this a little bit lower. Uh, let's see, 12 weeks, no rematch clause, media, home fight if you want it, mate. There we go. 
I don't care about the terms. I just want to fucking fight him. There we go. Finally got it done. So the old alt F4. <laughs> before, before it could save. Good stuff. Alright. Right, now we can get into the camp. Should we sign up to this? Fuck it. We're doing it. Just got a load of bank. Money in the bank there. So why not? some extra points, bonuses. Let's get this media bullshit out the way. Power punching. Counter punching. Get one more little pissy activity in. Let's recover this one. Oh, hang on a minute. No. Maybe one more. Uh, some light, Sutton light. I think, can I overtrain at this gym now? That's the question now. Like at the previous gym. Could have overtrained, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's applying to this gym, so maybe I can overtrain here. I've got to be careful. That wouldn't be desirable going up against Gatti. Overtrained. Can I just get another recovery in? Take another day off? Fuck it. Just bring that down a bit. Make me recover enough. Oh, look at that. Just got back in the green there. Fucking hell, my ass went a bit there. All right, let's see how we get on against Gatti. Fucking hell. I'm nervous for this one. But I'm excited at the same time. Better venue. Named opponent. Let's see how we get on. Oh, I didn't change up me. Me swag either. Shit. Welcome to the WBC Arena, and what an atmosphere we have here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham, and here with me, my well, broadcast colleague, come a long way from Johnny fighting in the crack right, dens Todd, and, and back home. dens of inequity, and now we'll who we have for the big venues. As you can see, they will enjoy a reach advantage from the United Kingdom. Their last fight, oh, my outfit did save. I did save. knockout win. I edited that out. So you didn't get to see that, I just wasn't sure, wasn't sure if it had saved or not, but it has saved. Arturo Thundergatti from Canada. The last time we saw them in action, suffered a very close loss. Let's see if their fortunes turn around here. It'll be ding ding from first bar, they're off. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the United Kingdom, wearing the white trunks with red trim, Arturo Thundergatti. Got a feeling Gat, this, he's going to be hard to put away. He's fucking known for his toughness, to like, for this like, to his detriment sometimes, like fucking hell. When it's just fucking, out, the fans are there. You can hear their punches. just you so hard to put away. The heat is second to none. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. 
punch. Ja, super kurz. This is with the jab. Another scoring shot there. like the chemistry between a fighter and their coach and this partnership is working great here he is bouncing on his toes trying to get some energy nice oh counter. big left up over the top from Gatti caught me as I was trying to unload a power straight and look at that head health bit <clears throat> gonna shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit way through the round and I don't know who's got the advantage great stuff very close match it shows the skill the discipline the respect both fighters oh Gatti oh, again combinations off Gatti. early the foundation Rock. I got caught swinging and again there weathered the storm how I'm not sure Green Days now needs to steady the pace Being a bit reckless early on here which is not ideal because we've got shit stats when it comes to I think it's called courage in this game like your ability to uh, to get up in the knockdown mini game as is sitting at around 50 which is absolutely fucking atrocious so basically two get ups I think is probably all I'm going to be able to fucking pull off I guess he's getting caught there though with a nice combination got to be careful charging after the Oof. Well, a hairy no moment there. About who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Kind of well, stepped out, the out of my play style right. there, trying to uncork power shots in the pocket there. And I fucking paid for it. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Can't find a home with that jab. throw out a lazy jab in this fight you'll get knocked out there's no doubt about it this fighter loves to throw jabs and a lot of them their opponent better have an answer some real good back and forth between these two fighters he's dropped the guard now what do you think of that decision Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Oh, tried to use that pivot to open up a couple of body shots opportunities there, but got punished. Can't score with that jam. You can see from the record, this fighter is fantastic and is really difficult to get past. Ooh, digging left up it to the liver there from, from Gatti. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. Oh, Gassi backing off there after getting caught with the upper. There are no losers in this oh, nice head. It's just fading away from that left up. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. They ring the bell and here we go. Last round complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, oh. why change it? An excellent that last head movement round, from everything Gassi works. Did. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Oh, beautiful body shots from Gassi nice. there. Liver shot and then the right hand after it. Big punch. Nice 
footwork just stepping off that angle there to make that uppercut miss not so rigid anymore with the stance looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more try some stick and move i can't believe we're only halfway through the round perfectly matched skill for skill tap for tap oh now, this went for the jab say, left you know what? I'm just that not yeah, he made that left up miss so counted I respect both of them more than happy and again evading the uh the uppercut Might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the glove. A win. Oh, Gatti getting caught in tight. Jesse Little right, straight, left up. Jab misses. And another nice counter up for Putland. I'm going to get a little more loosey goosey. Let's see how. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Took a couple of shots there. Got put in the red a little bit. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance without a doubt. Made look so, so easy. And there's the bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Good one. my stamina letting a few more power career. shots Maybe go than I normally would here the gloves. a win is needed desperately continues to touch him up figure out the combination to this oh, safe. very quick counter right straight from Gassy there career. maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves a win is needed desperately every time he throws the punch oh there's a hard left up to the body but I fucking shot me load while I was doing it so he's going to drop his arms down here Tough, not sure that's huge the head damage there decision. from a counter from Gassy not good. I'm trying to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. Caught him. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Oh, that right straight to the body. And it's pretty hard. Draft for Gassi there. Dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. That's another scoring shot. He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments not so tense anymore trying to loosen things up i like it They're so close so close how can you separate them it's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges nice counter shot 
Oh God! Fucking so both slinging the left up there. The end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. Oh, beautiful counter right straight from Gassy there. That's some damage. Oh, and a left hook over the top. This is going to be a knockdown. It's cut on the ring off. Shots to the body, going up top. Oh, and I did go block, low block there, but it got through somehow, and I had block meter left. Oh, maybe, I was holding down, but the arms hadn't quite come down yet. God, I heard the clacker go for the end of the round there as well. I heard about 10 seconds left. How small this is. Well, one more knockdown and it's all over. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. I won't be that cut up about it, to be honest with you. Never lose. I kind of, I'm, I'm due a loss, aren't I? I've fucking gone undefeated so far, and it's fucking pissing me off, to be honest with you. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has Good in round store for. From Gassy. That knockdown we just saw was Ooh, a heavy stiff knockdown. jab. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. Looks like they're gonna mix up their strategy a little bit here. Good counter punch. Nice counter shot. Couple of nice counters. The jab not finding its target. We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. Has to be Ooh, careful beautiful. for that receipt. It's always coming. That's a jab there. Just holds like me. A game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. A perfect oh. counter shot. Nice bit of footwork there to so just step off. Counter with the left hook. I think this is the beginning of the he end. Be the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the glove. Oh, beautiful right straight counter. Needed desperately. Starting to run away with it now. Just missed with that hook. A very competitive round with 10 I got no excuses. Left. I came in fully prepared. Properly trained. And he scores with the counter. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction until oh, then, both tra trading there. I think he got the better of that though, going to the head. Continues to touch him up. Good counter punch. Here's a scoring blow. Might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. And he did catch him. He caught him clean. Clean as a whistle. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say the right straight there, but not came out. The left hook came out, but the right straight didn't. More than happy. Just 
out of range. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Whoa, oh, body minute. shot. shot. Actually rocked me that time. I think this is it. I didn't realise my body health was so low. Well, he's firing back now. Sometimes offense can be your best I've been so defense. focused on the head damage that he's been putting in. That body shot damage just came out of nowhere, really. Recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. I know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to Just you. Just slowly breaking me down. They ring the bell and here we go. What seems that like a, a lifetime to survive now, even though it's two rounds. Going? We're in Tell round eight. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. We haven't even heard him. Works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. Stamina's took an even bigger hit as well with the body shots he's got, he's landed. Good one. Trying to fight like Roy Jones Jr. now, bouncing on the toes. Perfect punch. Back and forth they go in this round. Oh. The momentum continues to shift. We might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed desperately. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? The jab slightly off target. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Looks like a little change of strategy. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Oh, hard liver shot there. Made my uppercut miss. That was almost a 10 8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope just feel like everything he's hitting me with is it is way more lethal. We're hoping for an all action slug fest. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That counter shot lands. It's a nice three piece there. The oh, and another nice two punch combination. Oh, well, Gatti gets rocked. He's known for that toughness. I'm just gonna fucking try and put some shots to the body in. Oh, and a left hook drops him. I had fuck all stamina there as well. I mean, even if he beats me, at least I fucking got paid him back with the knockdown. He fired back there just as he came out of the uh, the stun state. Managed to just slip it a little bit and then counter with the power left. One, two, three. That's only four. one knockdown against Gatti. That's going to mean fuck all. Look at that, he's up at five. He's back on his feet, but at some point you have to think about the next fight and not this one. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing. And oh, I look at this. Gatti right coming back. Scoring a rock. Oh, got a minute to go in the round. 
take long to get back and get engaged. What recovery skills Kind of made a mistake trying to go after him there. He wasn't still hit after the knockdown, so I should have just fucking but look at that. Look kept at me the distance. Movement. Look at the speed back on it. That could never happen. The jab not finding its target. A perfect counter shot. Nice head movement there to avoid any more damage after the after the uh, the upper landed. Final ten seconds here. The corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. <laughs> Let's Looking see an exciting how round for me there. Changes after that big knockdown. I love the response though. Got back as long as I don't do anything stupid here, like get dropped. Because if I get dropped in this round, it's all over. They ring the bell and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bound because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Those counter punches have to hurt. Oh, got to be careful with these fucking slugfest exchanges. He might be seeing the end of this boxer's career. Maybe it's time to just hang up the gloves. A win is needed. Get off me. It's not the time for clinching. We've just had nine rounds of fucking throwing shots at one another. We'll be clinching me now. The jab slightly off target. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Can't find a home with that jab. My stamina, uh, sorry, my animation's probably going to change very soon. Punch, counter punch. That's right, straight counter there. I'm going to get the fatigued animation soon. Maybe we're not going to have enough time to see it. Nice slip to avoid the jab. Now going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Oh, Gatti throwing the fucking sink at me there. Things up here. Let's see how he does with Trying this to make a, footwork. a statement in the final round. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. He threw a punch and just got countered. Oof, fucking hell. Some might have thought it was a little bit closer. Well, we got him on a decision. Managed to knock him down. Fucking hell, but we scraped through that one, didn't we? Jesus. That's level. One is up there, one is down there. But you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big hard lesson. I totally agree. Maybe if he would have had a bit more time, he would have got it done. I mean, if he would have got that knockdown in the first round there, and then the second knockdown, I think, would have been over there. There's your... Your rounds, a uh, scorecards anyway. Gassy was just coming up to the halfway point on his stamina. We damaged him a lot more than he damaged us, but in terms of his health bar. Good fight, I enjoyed that. I was on fucking pins and needles, tender rocks for that one. Fucking god knows what Lomachenko is gonna be like, fucking hell. His evasive AI is probably some of the best in the game. Top 10 now in all the rankings. Not bad, not bad at all. And a mate twin Karen getting a B. Although he prefers the D. If you know what I mean. What have we got here? Courage. Oh fucking hell, we got one a, one point in courage. Good. We, we might stand a better chance of getting up a bit more now. Of one point. Counter punch modifier and injury resistance. That's the thing. We haven't been injured once in this career yet. I don't know why why that is. Good stuff. Right, let's get this. Uh... In fact, let me pump Aaron full of, full of points. 
And we should be able to go into A strength now. Yes, look at that. Ooh, I think we're halfway with that. Do you know what? I might keep that there. And give him the rest for speed. Sounds good. Got an A for strength. Lovely. Lovely. Look at this. Amir Khan, Josh Taylor coming up. Crawford there at number two. Loma, number one. Fucking hell. Got some work to do here. Fucking hell. All right. To sort my weight out. Fucking hell. What have I been doing? Fucking been on the McDonald's diet. What's going on? Weights in the pits, isn't it? I'm just gonna keep it on weight. Going for sharpness. Opponent. You're not in good shape. Let's get a man because of opponent selection, and we can. Like I say, I want to make, I want to work my way through this top ten, even though we're sitting at number seven. But there's there's names here that I don't want to skip over. I want to fight all of them, so I'll just work my way through. Let's go with Taylor. Let's see if we can get a handshake on this. to alt F4 this again so let's just try and be a bit more reasonable with the, uh, the negotiation demands to try and get the the, the Anshi WBC Kuritsu let's go with Kuritsu Arena uh, training weeks 12 rematch clause no fight promotion um, so we can get home home crowd Counted. What's going on? You don't want the home crowd? There we go. So that's penciled in for the next one. Josh Taylor. I didn't get to look at his uh, st stats. There. Let's have a look. See what we can do from here. There we go. Tartan Tornado. Josh Taylor. Thirty-six wins, fifteen knockouts. Southpaw, the sinister hand, four stars, and a boxer puncher style. Should be interested. All right, that's all good to go for the next one. Thanks a lot for, uh, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check on that other channel as well. Still uploading some exhibition bouts on there on Liver Shot 2.0. All right, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much again for watching. Really appreciate it. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.